Europe's Earth Observation Programme has been busy since the last ESA ministerial in 2008, be it developing meteorological satellites, working on GMES, the Global Monitoring System for Environmental Security, Earth Science and Technology Development. Well, it was exciting for years, I have to say, because many things happened. Uh, of course, we started with the new programs which were decided at the last ministerial conference, which was in metrology the third generation of the Meteosat uh, satellites. So now all the contracts more or less are in place and we start the real development. We have built seven satellites for the GMES system. The first will be launched next year. And especially exciting, our science program. We have launched three missions, meanwhile with fantastic results uh, and very inno innovative technology. The results of the science program are impressive. They include the GoChain mission, which made the most accurate and detailed gravity map of the Earth, invaluable for understanding ocean circulation. The SAMOS mission produced global maps on ocean salinity and soil moisture, improving our knowledge of ocean currents and the interaction between land and the atmosphere and the Cryosat mission produced the first map of changes in ice thickness in the Arctic using a high-resolution altimeter, the first of its kind in space. And for the next ministerial conference, there are equally exciting proposals. For metrology, the next generation of the polar orbiting system, and uh, we have to understand that METOP, uh, the system is called like that, is contributing 40% to the accuracy of our weather forecast, of our daily weather forecast, so a very important issue. So we want to build the most modern polar orbiting meteorological system of the planet. Then uh, we have, uh, for this GMES system, uh, we have two elements which are still outstanding. One is to uh, continue the high precision sea level measurements that we can measure from space the sea level rise. We know from 20 years measurements that it has increased from 1.6 millimeter to 3 millimeters now and it's accelerating. The third element proposes new science missions to look at biomass and forests, carbon dioxide levels and the fresh water content in snow and ice, important for climate and companies using water for energy. All of these aspects of Earth observation are indispensable, not just for Europe, but for understanding the environment of our planet.